U.S. Energy Information Administration is out now with its short-term energy outlook. And it's saying that most Americans will see the heating bills go up. It's not the news we wanted to hear, right? We wanted to know specifically, what about us? What about the outlook in the Carolinas? So 7 News' Diane Lee looked into that. She's here now with some answers. Hello, Diane. Hey, Gordon. Well, in some ways, it's more positive than the national outlook, but there's likely a looming Duke energy rate increase that you may need to plan for as well. And no better time to start than now. This year, it seems like just when we turned off the air conditioner, we had to turn on the heat. It's been on for weeks now already. It's, it's been cold at night. So, so that, that first elevated bill will, will be in shortly, I'm sure, at the end of this month. And with natural gas trading at a four-year high, energy experts predict a 16% spike in cost if temperatures are only slightly colder than last winter. But in the Carolinas, Piedmont Natural Gas believes winter won't be any worse than last year and projects a 14% drop in your bill. So we have the ability to purchase some gas for our customers when it's lower, place it in the storage, and then utilize it for our customers when the prices go back up. Still, many of those same customers will also be staring down a possible 12% rate hike by Duke Energy come next year. I'm not happy about it, but that's, that's quite a surprise. All of that goes back to the investments we've made in infrastructure and building a smarter, uh, smart thinking grid, uh, things that help outages reduce the time that uh, customers are out. That looming hike, more motivation to conserve energy now. One thing you may want to take advantage of are free in-home assessments offered by Duke and other companies, checking everything from air leaks to insulation to appliances to see exactly where you can save. And starting off the season with a check on your furnace can translate to cost savings. You'd rather pay the money for a maintenance or a service instead of having, to, having somebody to come out after hours, which could cost double. Yeah, that's for sure. One of our heaters was broken last night, so you definitely want to get that all checked out. Okay. I will say, though, on the, on the rate hike, uh, the Public Service Commission of South Carolina will ultimately decide whether that Duke Energy rate hike goes through or perhaps a lower rate hike. And, of course, there's a public review process on that, so we'll let you know about that. So if you were to take one thing away from all of this, it, I guess it really depends on how you get your heat. If you've got gas heat, you might have a good winter. Those yeah. of us with electric heat, maybe you're going to pay a little bit more. Perhaps, yes. Um, uh, though, unfortunately, some folks also have oil heat, mm -hmm. and those people are likely going to see a 33% increase. Oh, wow, so yeah. just overall. And electric heating obviously isn't also as efficient. So really, overall, you do just have to watch those bills. Will do, Diane.